Starbucks isn't the first company to roll out these unconscious bias trainings. We've seen other large corporations do it as well as police departments try and tackle the issue. But these training programs created are still a debated approach. This sort of training can get that conversation started and at least help begin to make people aware of what they do and maybe even at the organizational level get some awareness of what we do as an organization that potentially influences things. Evan Abbott, the director of organizational development and learning at Employers Council, says these trainings can drive positive change. As long as a company starts embedding it into their DNA, that they're truly seeing this training as a first step in how do we talk about race, class, uh, other forms of unconscious bias and have it be the first step of the conversation and what are we doing from the top down now to just embed it across the whole organization. The chairman of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, came out today saying he agrees. But we have to start the conversation. We've also said that we are deeply committed to this being a long-term journey in which we are going to integrate this training not only in every Starbucks store from this point on, but also the onboarding of 100,000 new people a year. Abbott says it's a big deal what Starbucks is doing. They are sending a strong message. I guess a pessimist would say that's a, that's a small element. That's one day of 365 days, and that's a significant amount of money. They are demonstrating we are going, this is important enough. We're shutting down the business, and we're going to make time for us. We're going to make time for our employees around this, and I think that's to their credit. So how is success measured? Abbott says it can be measured through customer and employee surveys, as well as how many complaints go through HR. Abbott believes these trainings are just a first step in the right direction. I think the real test will be what happens next. Uh, do they communicate more of that change at that managerial level, at that organizational level, and is it, does that continue to be something that they report as a value, and how do they incorporate it into their stores? For the now, I'm Annie Taylor.